log in. And let me finish. You will see uh, the landing page is a dashboard. So this is a dashboard that is um, set by default. So we have a, a quite a few windows, and I will definitely go over each of these windows. But I want you to know that you can change your login preferences settings. Once you log in, you can have your home screen be the SEMP dashboard view. If you want it to be the SEMP index view, which is this window, you can see there's a more button. And if you click on that, that actually takes you into the back end of your system and all of the chapters and information plans, documents that you have uploaded into your uh, planning platform. So you can have this to be your landing page. You can also have a presentation view. So um, if you um, are using this for a presentation, we will hide the index and have it just be your presentation so it takes up more of the screen instead of the index, so you can definitely have your default have it be set as that. Typically, I personally do like to have the dashboard screen, and um, I'll go into uh, why because of all the different uh, features and um, views that you have. So. This is a dashboard screen, and the reason I, I like the dashboard screen is it tells you a lot of information of what's been going on in your SEMP. So the minute you log in, you'll see you have access to your SEMP. It cuts off, but you know you can definitely scroll down and look at all the different um, options that you have as to uh, what chapters and what documents you have in your system. Um, as I demonstrated before, if you click the more link, it will take you into that index view so you can see all of your information. The other information, uh, piece of information on this uh, dashboard that I really like are um, the most recently published front pages that you can see. So what this means is you can see John Rogan has been publishing pages on um, September 27th. So it gives you a track of what information is being published. And I'll go into what that means of being uh, publishing a page. Um, just a quick re uh, overview is that essentially you're building a web page um, into your system so it's accessible um, just using the internet and anyone can see it. So you can save things in draft or you can publish it when it goes live for anyone to view. So the most recently published on pages definitely gives you an idea of what information, new information that you have um, that's been published since your last login. You also have a favorites option. So right now I don't have any pages um, uh, marked as a favorite page. But you can see right here that I have more than 29 chapters in my stamp right now. And it's really similar to using your um, you know, bookmark feature in your web browser, but it will do it in your stamp. So what it will do is if you have, for example, um, a uh, plan that you want to favorite, if you click this star button and I'm adding it to my favorite and I jump back to my home dashboard, Anytime I log in and I want to go back to my favorite page, it's earmarked there so you can at least click on it and jump to it directly. So that's another feature of the uh, main window of the dashboard. The fourth option, um, the fourth box I should say, is the work groups, committees, and strike team. So this is the online collaborative environment I was referring to in uh, the previous overview video. What it is is it provides a um, SEMP, um, I should say the SEMP index. So if I click on it, it takes me into a separate um, collaborative online uh, workspace where you can invite members and you can upload files. So you have a single point or a single source of location where you can upload files, download files, you can work on uh, developing different uh, plans or you know, program management without necessarily affecting anything in your main SEMP index. Also, what you can do is if you are using the work group to develop a plan, once you are done um, and uh, a plan has been you know, exercised and it's been you know, approved, you can also move that plan from your work group into the SEMP index. So what's really nice about this feature is not only can you create a separate environment for collaborative work on a program management, you can also use this for plan development or maintenance. So 
so that not everyone has to necessarily see the, um, you know, the work in progress until it's finalized, at which point you can move it into the temp index. One last feature for this segment of the video, I just want to point out that I know I'm um, referring to what people can see or not see, and we do have a security feature of the SEMP um, that will be in a later video. It's a little bit more complex, but the system does have the ability to dictate who and um, who can see what parts of the, of, the, of the platform. So it's really nice because it's not dictated by a group. It's actually down to the user level. So each individual user can actually have a different security setting to uh, identify which work groups they should be a part of, which sent pages they can see, which sent pages they can um, edit. So it's really great in that it's the ability to create multiple security roles of what an individual can do in your system. On a dashboard, you will see you have a few uh, navigation pieces up top. So there's a home button, and um, just to clarify, that will take you back to whatever you set as your home screen, whether it's the index view, the presentation view, or the SEMP dashboard view. I should also point out that if you want to make the font size a little bit bigger, you definitely can set that. And so when you re-log in, the font will become larger or you can decrease it.